particular spot but we're about to leave here quick as hell already because the building itself is gorgeous the lobby is fucking beautiful they have this little garden area that i showed you guys but y'all you come in this room I'm talking about the filth this room is so fucking disgusting for sure like this shit is disgusting like who I don't know if motherfuckers was walking up the walls, but there's so much stains everywhere. I have this blanket that they had on the couch. I put it over the couch because there's so many stains on this couch that I didn't even want to sit on the couch. I'm not even the one with OCD. Amber has the OCD. It's so filthy in here. We didn't even want to take a shower, baby. We had, to, we had to do what we had to do because we had to get that airport funk off of us. And maybe it would never be okay. It would never be okay. It would never, it would never be okay, okay? But maybe if we was just here for a night or two, maybe we would have been able to deal. But the fact that we're gonna be here a full entire week, and you, you gotta know my baby didn't book this. He just took her co-worker's word that they found the nice spot. So she was just like, okay, I'll, you know, I'll do whatever spot you're doing. Spots trash. When it comes down to us, when we go on our private trips, when it comes down to when family trips with our family, babe is like in charge of finding our stays because she, Amber always finds the best of the best Airbnbs. She finds the best of the best hotels. She's a clean person and she's just very good with making everything convenient and organized and just making sure all the ducks is in a row and there's no like discomfort. The one moment Amber like steps away and lets somebody else like do it, they pick something that just wasn't the best. So we're just gonna go to another stay. You know, this is a work vacation for Amber. So honestly, the last thing Amber needs to be doing is being uncomfortable when she finally get off work. And for me, even though I'm, I'm just here for the ride, but I'm gonna be here majority of the time. So me being comfortable is super important too. Um, I don't plan on literally venturing out. Y'all know me, when I'm back in Chicago, I'm good for like roaming around by myself, going out to eat by myself, doing stuff by myself. When I travel, not so much. If the lounge is not in the same building or if I can't walk out the building and it's not across the street next to me or next to me, I ain't going. I'm not one of those people that go out in another state by myself and sit at a bar and get tipsy and talk to people. No, no. I don't really do that much out of state because just safety in general we haven't even been here 24 hours and we're already about to leave honestly we both decided that just for this trip we prefer a hotel babe and her family are members of a particular hotel and it's a nice nice amazing 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 hotel and so we're just deciding just to stay there it's just a lot more convenient for us everything is in the building i'm still have my gym i can get room service level of cleanliness that we like and yeah so
put me and Amber's picture on the drink. Can you see Amber's face? That's gonna be your meal. Oh my god, it's so good. This girl right here can eat wings every day. Oh my god, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be down here every day eating wings. We went out to go get some ice cream. I got a shake. I got cookie butter and vanilla bean caramel something with some whipped cream. This apparently got five out of five stars. Five out of five stars, they say. So we shall see. The critics shall see. What did you get, babe? Chocolate Santo Domingo. Okay. Pure cocoa from Santo Domingo. Hence the name. <laughs> With a little bit of hazelnut uh, top and a waffle. Try it. Mmm. That's good. Now this is good chocolate. It's like Haagen Dazs. It's better Haagen Dazs, bro. Mmm. What'd you give it? Okay. I'm gonna give it a nine and a half. Nine and a half? Yeah. That's nine. good. Nine. If they had like, if I had got, cause I wanted, I wanted Colston. <laughs> so if I had been able to put M and M's in this bitch, oh Facts. Rap. Facts. Ten. It would be nice. So ten. it's not better than Colston? Only cause I couldn't put M and M's. They didn't have M and M's. But the, I, the chocolate is really, really good. It's really good. It's pure. It's mm. pure chocolate. Pure cocoa. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. We'll do it every time. All right. It, it, it's, it's a no, good. It's okay. Yeah, it's good. I'm going to give it a good 6.5. Oh, okay. It's, it's a good 6.5. It's all right. I was expecting a little bit more burst of flavors. Mm -hmm. But it's a good 6.5, but 6.5 is good. No, this ain't no banana. You put banana. Oh, no, cookie no. butter. Cookie butter and um, and the vanilla bean man. caramel it's not, something. It's not, hidden. It's, not hidden. It's, not hidden. it's not giving everything all the flavors that I thought it would give, but it's cold, it's milky, it's icy, it's like ice cream, so it's good. Good times in this LA street. You guys, I have the entire gym to myself. So I'm super, super, super excited. I brought my earphones, I'm about to work out. I'm gonna make this a daily thing every day that I'm here. Um, and I'm just super excited because the view is beautiful. It's nice and warm in here. Um, they have water already for me, even though I brought some water and it's empty, so. I guess to really just be in here doing my shit. So I'm probably gonna stay in here for about an hour. I'm about to get on the treadmill, do some stuff up here. And then, oh, also, they give me free yoga every single day from seven to eight if I want it. So I'm gonna take advantage of that at least twice this week. It's amazing. There's just reasons that I love hotels. Like, don't get me wrong, I love a good Airbnb, but there's something about a five-star hotel stay where the customer service is fucking chef fuck the room service the, the 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 convenience the amenities the the everything i got my gym i got my bar downstairs my restaurant downstairs and to get to working out um then i'm going downstairs to the lounge to get me some food something to drink and read my book okay that's the plan while babe is away Feel a little bit anxious Wondering if I'm in it for the long haul But you should know I never leave your side for Nothing in this world Cause everything I do I do it for you Gonna make a little promise I'm gonna stay true
need me to be Please don't run no, I So I am back in the room and I am super hungry but I definitely want to smoke first. Um, you know, Cali weed just be hitting so different, different, different. So when I come to Cali, baby, I turns up. So I got me a few little cute little small pre-rolls for myself. We have, oh, you know what I'm going to take? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Home girl, okay, home girl. All right, home girl. It is almost like a tradition, an unspoken tradition at this point, that the moment that we get off the plane and get our rental car, we're either going to two places. We're going to in and out or we're hitting up the dispensary. This is only day two, y'all. This is really only the real first day for real. We're gonna be here to Saturday. It is only Monday. Don't get me wrong, I love home, I miss home, but you know, a getaway is always needed to get that like recharge, you know? I'm getting off subject, but anyway, money is cool, but peace of mind is even better, and I'm gonna be taking trips with baby all the fucking time if I can, when I can, and that's the best part about, you know, being a stay-at-home fiance, basically. Like, yeah, I work, of course, um, from home, and I have a little bartending gig. I don't consider that a job, so I kind of feel like a stay-at-home fiance. Say. So I can kind of move whenever, you know, my, my schedule is super flexible. I can move around whenever baby wants to move around. So when baby move, I'm moving. You hear me? We went to the dispensary. We got a few goodies. The lady there who told me I have to try this Uncle Arnie's um, cannabis infused beverage. So on the side, it has like this measurement system. So you can kind of like microdose and know what you're getting yourself into. But y'all know I do this, so I can probably drink this whole thing and be good. Oh my God, y'all. There's crazy, crazy production happening downstairs in our lobby. I mean, they are filming stuff left and right, left and right. And everyone here is so amazing and so nice and they take good care of you. Like, I feel super, 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 super safe in this hotel. Like, the place that we was at before, I didn't really feel that safetyness that I like, uh, especially with me being by myself majority of the time while we're out here. But I feel super safe in this hotel. Like, literally, if we ever, ever come back, like, downtown L.A., we will always stay in this particular hotel because the service is amazing. The staff is amazing. You kind of see the same staff all the time. They get familiar with you. People, I could tell that people already started to get familiar with me, and they got a whole nother week to see me. So I feel like, you know, people will keep looking out a little bit. So I'm a girl who loves me a good edible. Um... I don't really care for the candy edibles. You know, I, when it comes down to the edibles, I'm more of a flaming hot girl. I'm more of a steak and lobster infused with broccoli infused with the butt. Like, I'm that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the best tasting thing. It tastes like, like, like Pedialyte or like an orange flavored bear flu or something. Take it to the head. <laughs> I don't know, cause I feel bad because I feel like Amber gonna want to take it with me, but mm -mm. I'm taking it all by myself. It's mine. Oh, 100 mg TAC and 150 mg caffeine. Oh, I'm about to be hype. And I'm about to go downstairs and smoke a little bleasy. <sighs> Girl. Oh, come on, stop being a little punk ass bitch. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, y'all. We gonna wait 30 minutes. I'm gonna go downstairs and smoke. I gotta go find me a lighter. And then we're gonna see what it's giving out. Okay. 15 minutes later. myself getting ready 
about to go downstairs and sit at the bar, read my book, eat me some hot wings, order me a drink. I went downstairs and baby, I was high. I said, uh-uh, uh-uh, give me that to go, actually. I just wanted to be in the room. So, and I wanted to watch some Netflix and just, you know, read my book. I just wanted some alone time. So, I end up ordering my drink to go. So, I want to be chilling in the room, having my cocktail. I got water. The cleaning people just left, so they left fresh waters and towels and stuff. I have my food, my hot wings, my truffle fries. Yeah, I'm about to like indulge and eat. I was gonna do a mukbang, but I'm like, you know what? Uh, uh, I'm hungry. I ain't got time for all that. I just wanna relax. I just wanna relax and finish this fucking book. Y'all see it? Yeah, just relax. <laughs> Be all the other lights will be off. Yeah. Good light. Let me see. Mm -hmm. They got me a reading light. That'd be real sexy to use read right here. Ooh, that's real sexy. Hold on. Let me see. Where my phone at? You want me to take a picture of you reading, acting like you're reading? <laughs> <laughs> right up, boom, right up. Hold on. <laughs> Sips. Don't take shots no more. Yeah, we sip. We sip. I don't take none to no head. Take it to the and twist the lol. Mmm. Sip sip. Roll up. Y'all. This shit right here. This shit right here looks so pretty. When she open it, we gonna show you what it look like. 
It looks so fluffy and so pretty. What you say it look like, babe? It look like little milky. You see a little purple strand in that boy? Mm -hmm. You see it. <laughs> it's popping. Uh-uh, not the eyes closed for over five seconds. <laughs>